okay let's go for the next question that is 46 let f from a to b to 1 to infinity be a continuous function and let g from r to r be defined as 0 when x is less than a integral a to x ft dt when x is between a and b integral a to b ft dt when x is greater than b we have to discuss about continuity and differentiability of the function gx fine now to check continuity lhl of the function gives me at point a value as 0 when x approaches to a from the right hand side we observe a to a integral means simply 0 so lhl is 0 rhl is 0 and as well as the value is also 0 hence it is continuous at x equals a so it is continuous at x equals a check for b left hand limit at b integral a to b ft dt same is the value rhl a to b ft dt again same means it is continuous at x equals b as well so the function is continuous for all real numbers let's talk about the differentiability let's differentiate the function in three different intervals separately first one second a to x ft dt when we differentiate it we get fx third one zero now if f a is zero f b is zero we can find the derivative as continuous we can find the derivative is true means lhd and rhd are equal but codomain involves one to infinity points means fx can never be zero so we simply observe when we are moving towards a from the left hand side it is zero from the right hand side it is fa so it is not differentiable x equals a similarly when we check at b we observe fp and zero means it is not differentiable at b as well so option a gx is continuous but not differentiable at a option c gx is continuous but not differentiable at b these two are correct let's move to the next one okay let's go for the next question that is 47 if f from 0 to infinity to r be given by fx equals integral 1 by x to x e to the power minus t plus 1 by t multiplied with dt by t then I have to discuss four options two about monotonicity of the function one about functional equation and last is talking about odd fine so fx is given to me in form of integral so let's differentiate the function f dash x equals e to the power minus of x plus 1 by x into 1 by x minus e to the power minus of 1 by x plus x into 1 upon 1 by x into minus 1 by x square which is 2 by x e to the power minus of x plus 1 by x since x is 0 to infinity so it is always greater than 0 correct means f is monotonically increasing on 0 to infinity hence the option 1 is correct while 2 is false fx is given when i write f of 1 by x it will give me integral x to 1 by x only limits are interchanged when we again change the limits a negative sign is created so on adding fx and f1 by x it goes to 0 last 
when we look at this third functional equation f of 2x is obtained integral 2x to 2 to the power minus x and so on but when we consider f of 2 to the power minus x we can see f 2x plus f 2 minus x is 0 when we replace x by 2 to the power x this functional equation gives me the result what it produces it produces f of 2x plus f of 2 minus x is 0 means clearly the function is odd hence a c d are correct let's move to the next one